we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the dynamic gnomon. The gnomon is a really important tool to establish new planes or be able to move the part around the screen dynamically. We're just going to come down here to the corner and click on our gnomon. I'm going to go ahead and click anywhere out here on the screen. That's going to bring up a gnomon. So I'm just going to click it into a spot and this is also a shortcut into dynamic planes. So from here I can actually go in and create a plane, give it a name, perhaps even adjust the location of that, assign a work offset, set it to WCS tool plane construction plane if I'm working with a three axis program or align with another WCS axis. Now to get into the settings for the gnomon itself just anywhere on the gnomon right click and then we get this other dialog box. From here we can adjust how the gnomon reacts when we snap to lines, arcs, splines, and solid edges, face alignments, angular snap, so right now it's set to five degrees and I'll show you where that's where that's coming up on the gnomon itself. Right now it's showing the ruler and we can adjust the size of the ruler. I'm going to pull this over here. So we can adjust the size of the ruler. We can also adjust the size of the gnomon. So I'm going to go ahead and move that up to the largest possible size. And for the, the ruler, I'm going to leave that probably somewhere a little above the middle. Now we also have a plane display. You can toggle this on to show plane. And you can even have it show a grid within that plane. This helps making the view of that plane a lot easier to see when we're adjusting things for that particular gnomon. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the plane size or the opacity of that plane. How dark do you want it to be or how translucent do you want it to be? Whatever makes it easiest for you to see. And then once we get the settings set the way that we want them, we'll go ahead and accept that information. And now I have a gnomon that I can move around or put on my part or align. And we do that with certain key functions. I can either grab the shaft of the arrow here and I can move that along or I can snap to a point on my ruler to set that. Or I can grab the arc section next to the arrow and I can align it to a point or a feature on my part. I can also grab the arrowhead itself and then put it on the edge of the, my part and it will align that axis with that edge. I can grab the center section of the arc and I can snap every five degrees. This is where that setting was located. If I pull outside the gnomon, then I have a much greater control as far as the degrees that, it, that it's going to snap to, or I can simply type in a value, we'll say 30 degrees. So it's going to show you a, a update of that new angle, and then you press enter again to accept that information. Now if I want to align my gnomon to my part, Let's say I want to align the gnomon to this angular face here. In between the X and the Y axis, there is a shaded region. If I click on that region, I can now bring that over and snap that to the face of that solid. Once I have it aligned to the face of the solid, then I can grab this little sphere and I can put that dot anywhere I want in relationship to that face. I can also click on the arrowhead and align to an edge. Again, that's going to stay in a line with the face of that part. Or I can grab the arc section here and I can align that to any point as it goes around the face of that part. Now, if I have any other questions on how the gnomon reacts or or just how to use the gnomon or to see definitions, you can right click on the gnomon, come down to the help tab, open that up, click on dynamic gnomon, and then it shows you all the different parts and alignments and things that you can do and how to control your gnomon. 
Again, this is a very, very important tool for not only establishing planes, but also for moving things around and, and aligning parts to other parts, that sort of thing.